All right, so what is up guys? In this Flutter tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to create a tab layout. So as you can see in the top of this app, we have three different options. One says friends, one says settings, and one says money. And you can actually slide to change these tabs. And if you click on one, it will take you directly to it. And of course, I'm also going to show you how to change the icons and you can also choose to remove the text if you don't like having this text here and how to change the colors and so on. So you can customize it. But with that being said, the first thing you should do is go ahead and create a new empty project in Flutter. And I'm using Android Studio for this. And to make sure that everything is easy to follow, we're gonna start this entire project from scratch. So let's get started immediately by creating the first import, which will import our package flutter slash material dart. Then we have to add a semicolon, which is going to return void. And we want to run the app. And the app is going to be called my app, but you can call it, of course, whatever you want. Then we have to add a semicolon. Right below, we can go ahead and type in class my app, and that's going to extend stateless widget, open curly brackets, then we can hover over my app and we can create the one missing override. Then inside here, we want to return material app. And the first thing we'll give it is a title, which will be called tab layout. And you can call that whatever you want. And it should also return a home page, which is going to be called my home page. And then semicolon. Then below this class, we need to create that home page. So we're gonna type in class my home page is going to extend a stateful widget because we're gonna have a lot of functionality happening. And we have to open up a pair of curly brackets. And inside here we'll type in my home page and we need to create a key. So it's gonna be key of type key and followed by super key key. Then we can go ahead and create the override. So we're gonna type in overrides and that's going to take a my home page state and we're going to create a state with that and since it's a one lined function we can just add this arrow my home page state followed by a semicolon and finally we can get to the main functionality of the code which is creating the tab bar so all we have to do is type in class my home page state and that's going to extend state of type my home page followed by a open curly brackets and <clears throat> the first thing we want to create in here is a static constant so static const which is going to be a text style called option style. And that's going to equal a text style. And inside here, we want to add a font size of 30. So the text looks a bit bigger and a font weight of font weight bold. And remember to add a semicolon, of course. Then we have to go ahead and override my homepage state. So let's go ahead and create that one missing override. And inside here, we can return the material app. So we're gonna type in return material app. And that's going to take a home, which is going to be the default tab controller. And inside here, we want to specify a length, which is going to be three. And then we want to specify a child, which is going to be a scaffold. And inside this scaffold, we're going to add an app bar, which is just going to be the app bar. And inside the app bar, we can add the tab bar. So we'll type in at the bottom, we want to add a tab bar. And just to show you that you can change the colors, we're going to start with unselected label color, which we're just going to leave to colors.white. And then we can go to label color, which is going to be colors.white again, and the indicator color, which we're also going to leave at colors.white. And you don't really have to specify any of this because I believe by default, it's all set to white, but this is just to show you that you can change these in case you want to. And also if you hold command or control plus P, it will give you a list of options of what you can change. So just keep that in mind when you create your tabs, there's a lot of customization that you can create. Then we have to go ahead and create the tabs, of course. And to do this, we just have to call tabs and inside we need to call text which is going to first equal money then let's give this an icon of icon which takes icons dot attach money and let's fix this small typo here so let's just copy and paste this two more times so the second one is going to be friends and the last one's going to be settings 
Then for the app bar, we can go ahead and add a title to it, which will be a text of sample tab bar. So this will be the text that appears at the top of the application bar. And to change the background color, all you have to do is call background color. And this time I'm going to make it blue. So we're going to go colors dot blue. And finally, we can go to our app bar and take care of the views depending on which page we are swiping to. So to do this, we have to go under the app bar and type in body. And that's going to be a tab bar view. And inside here, we're first going to call our children. And the first one we need to call is the center child and the text of money. And let's give it the text style that we created above of option style. So style, option style. And these two commas should not be there. So let's get rid of that and place one on the outside. Then we can go ahead and copy and paste this two more times. And we need to change the second one to friends and the last one to settings. Then at the bottom of the material app, we have to add a semicolon. And then we have one more error. So let's go to this and see what it is. And what we're missing here is an underscore. So with that being fixed, we can go ahead and run the program. So as you can see, as soon as the app runs, we will have a blue layout this time. And when we swipe across, it will take us to the different pages, such as the money page, the friends page and the settings page. And if we want to get rid of the text, all we have to do is go down here and remove the text field for all of them, or just the ones you want to remove. And of course, this uh, and of course, the karma as well. Then if we click on hot reload, and we go back to our application, you'll see that we will only have the icons instead of the icon and the text. And this might look better on your app. But of course, all of this is up to you. And with that being said, that's all I wanted to show you in today's video. All we did is create a very simple tab layout. And I've demonstrated how you can customize it. But uh, with that being said, thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. See you.